One thousand. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big. GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day, another video. GTF was going on. What's going on, man? It's another day. You hear me? We back at y'all with a long form video, man. This long form video was unexpected, even to me, because um I didn't really plan on doing a video today. I was just in a crib, you feel me? Like the weather is really the weather ain't really looking too good right now. The whole week the weather's been messed up. You feel me? Been raining all week. And then today, you know, it was raining this morning and now it's all cloudy. Um, I was just in the house and I was like, you know what, I'm hungry. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go ahead and go get some food. I'm just bring the camera with me. I'm just gonna head on and do a video with it, y'all. So yeah, uh, this is not no planned food review, so I think I'm finna go uh down the street right here and get something to eat right quick. You feel me? Um, but yeah, also I wanted to talk about uh you know, we got new we got new subscribers to the channel and I've been seeing some of the comments where people are asking me to explain uh some of the words that I say in the ad libs or whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm um for those who don't know, you know what I mean, my family is from Haiti, my mom, my father from Haiti, so I'm Haitian American. And uh basically the ad libs I'll be doing are Creole words. So somebody wanted me to explain what are the words. So basically when I be saying Kisa, Kisa is like saying what? That's Haitian Creole for like saying what? It's like somebody say something to you, be like Kisa. And be like, what? You feel me? So that's Kisa. Then I'll be saying Umway. And Umway is like, uh, I mean, it just depend on the context you use it. But the way I use it, it's like saying, oh my God. Although it's not really it's not really oh my god you know it's not really the actual phrase oh my god because oh my god is oh bon dieu you feel me but i'm way the way i use it and the way i use it is like saying oh my god like like you know it's like somebody in distress you know what i'm saying i'm way you understand what i'm saying somebody in distress uh what's the other word i use when i say uh oh you feel me that's like saying uh oh but you know just the haitian form you know what I'm saying? instead of saying uh oh you feel me the haitian say oh oh you feel me that's how haitians say uh oh they say uh oh you feel me? So that's that. What else I be saying? Kisa. 1,000. You know, that's in English, but that's just like another word of just saying 1,000. Like, instead of saying 100, you'd be like 1,000. You feel me? To just solidify. You feel me? Like, solidify the situation. Instead of saying 100, you feel me? Say 1,000. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. When I say B, you feel me? That's like a, you know, a hood slang or whatever you want to call it. B, you know, um... I don't really know what bib. I mean, you know, just the way that I use it. Bib. I can't really even explain it right now at the top of my head. Uh, what else I be saying? <laughs> what else I be saying? What else I be saying? Uh, white food. White food is like saying, oh, it's like saying, oh, 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 crap. I don't want to curse. Cause I don't want YouTube to come flat. It's like saying, oh, crap. You feel me? Like, you feel me? It's like, it's not actually the word for, uh, it's not actually the phrase. White food is not really actually the phrase in Creole for oh crap, but the way I say it, the context I'm using is like saying oh crap. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, that's some of the phrases. There's some other phrases that I use. I can't remember all the phrases right now off the top of my head, but there's some other ones I use. You know, I don't always use, some of them I use all the time, and there's some that you know that you might catch them occasionally. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's some of the phrases that I use for the people that were asking. But yeah, man, we about to focus on this road, man. I just wanted to explain that to y'all real quick. We finna go down here and get some drug. Let go! Alright, fam, we just pulled up, man. We pulled up the Theo Seafood and Pasta. I recently did a video at Theo Seafood and Pasta where I tried that oxtail pasta. Um, although I'm tempted to get it again because it was good, I'm gonna order something different this time. You feel me? We about to go in here though. All right, fam, y'all see it, man. We in the hood. We in Liberty City, Florida. Y'all see the logo right here, man. Theo's Pasta, Fried Rice, and more. I'm so used to calling it Theo Seafood and Pasta. Y'all see what's going on though. We about to go in here, man. We in the hood with it, man. Feel me? Liberty City. Martin Luther King. You feel me? Martin Luther King Street, 62nd, you heard? What have we on? 22nd? You heard? We on the block right now. We on the strip, man. Liberty City, man. Y'all seen it before, man. It been on the news before. We in here, bro. Y'all see what's going on, fam. We in here. We at POC Food and Pasta, you heard? 
Y'all see what's going on. Say what now? Um, I'll take a raspberry iced tea, please. Give me in here, man. What y'all think about it? What y'all think about it, man? We got the menu right here, you heard? I don't know what I'm gonna order yet, but we gonna get it down though. So y'all see the POV camera? Appreciate it. Say what now? Found. We got the grab. All right, fam. So we about to get these festivities started, Jared. Time to set up Gruff Tim Mobile Studios. You already know the vibe, man. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I got that grub. You feel me? Let's pop this thing open. So I got, uh, instead of, remember like I told y'all the oxtail rasta pasta that I had last time, but I didn't get that. They had some, um, they had something else. Ribeye, ribeye rasta pasta, you feel me? So we about to see what that hit me for. We about to see what that ribeye rasta pasta hitting on. This is a uh, corn, I believe. This is uh, the toast. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? Uh, huh? Oh, okay. So the ribeye rasta pasta comes in two different. This is the uh, pasta. This is the pasta with the panini noodles, you heard? Panini, pane, penny, whatever how y'all pronounce it. Y'all see what it's looking like. Put that down. I ain't gonna lie, man, I need a bigger car or something. And then, what's in here? Voila. What's here? Okay, this is the ribeye steak right here. Covered in, um, Peppers, onions, peppers, onions, red peppers, green peppers, and onions. It's a big piece of steak, too. It's dang huge. This right here. See, I ain't gonna lie. The ribeye, see, uh, Theo just threw this in. Because I be showing, because you know, because I be supporting them. But these are some wings. That they want me to try out some sweet chili wings. That he wanted me to try out. But um, I got the ribeye. That's what I bought. And he threw in the wings. You know what I mean? Because I be showing love. So y'all already know the vibes. I'm about to give y'all a closer view. The close-up action film. These are chicken wings. Sweet chili. Never had this flavor before. We about to see what they hitting for, you heard? How they looking? Them thing looking glazy. Over here we got the panini noodle. Rasta pasta for the ribeye steak. Over here we got the ribeye steak with the peppers and onions on it. Y'all see what's going on, fam. I ain't gonna lie, this plate with the noodles is hot, boy. Y'all see that thing looking saucy. Man, y'all drop them comments, man. Let me know what it's looking like, bro. All right, fam, so that's what we got. We about to dig in, you understand me? We about to get into the goods. We about to start off with this um, panini noodles, you Or panini pasta, whatever you pronounce it. 
Now this is, you know what I mean, Rasta pasta is supposed to be spicy. I got mine with light spice. But y'all see how it's looking. They ain't looking saucy. See that? They ain't dripping. Saucy. Damn. I don't want to make a mess, bro. Panini noodle. Hey, baby. I'm away. Mm. <clears throat> Light kick. This thing tastes good, full of flavor. I hope this thing ain't fall on my shirt, bro. No, I didn't. I just, you know what I mean? This is a brand new shirt, bro. And you're trying to get it dirty. These noodles so fat. The way they prepare them, the taste, the flavor, it's all there, bro. I don't even eat noodles like that. And the sauce, the sauce is very seasoned, creamy. Being honest with y'all, I can eat the salt, I can eat the, the noodles by itself and be good. Being honest with y'all. Light kick, very flavorful. Tastes good. Great season. Prepared well. <clears throat> Took the perfection. That's the noodles, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Got a raspberry iced tea. I love me that fountain raspberry iced tea, man. That raspberry iced tea from the fountain ain't no joke. Now for the ribeye steak, this thing is pretty huge. Let me show y'all one time. I don't wanna get my hand all dirty. Look how big, look how big this thing is, bro. This thing is huge, bro. Ribeye steak. Hey, baby. Big? Mm hmm. Well seasoned. It's not chewy, it's tender. It's good. Hey, baby. Big? <clears throat> Everybody stays good. Boy food. Great flavor. On a scale of 10, this ribeye pasta. On a scale of 10. Great flavor, well prepared, I like it. I would definitely order this again. I get it about a nine, bro. It's good. 
And the thing I like about the steak is tender. Y'all see how quick I'm biting it? Y'all see how quick I broke through it? Y'all see the size of it? Easy. I like that. Some people steak be too chewy. This is well done. by steak. They actually gave me some sauce for the steak, but what is this? Some, um, that steak sauce, whatever it's called, but I didn't need it. Now we're about to try one of these wings. Sweet chili flavor. Look how saucy that thing is. Man. It's a flap. Mm. <clears throat> that was a nice bite. Got a little kick to it. Sweet and savory. So it's savory. These wings fire. Fire. That was a good meal. Chicken wings also get a nine. Nine all across the board. If you ever in Miami, Florida, down here in Liberty City, you gotta check out POC for a box. I ain't gonna catch y'all. We got some good food. As far as the damage report goes, like I said, they threw in the wings. Cause I be always supporting. They all threw in the wings. The ribeye steak, 18 bucks, you heard? 
18 bucks. Good food. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen how big that steak was? $18 with the pasta. It come with a side of corn and it come with the toast. $18. Not a bad price. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap with y'all, bro.